Hey, what's up, everybody? I don't know if this is going to go on YouTube, probably, so I don't want to introduce YouTube. But uh, today, what we're going to be doing is uh, a tutorial of how to properly fold a wall. Um, now, the reason I haven't made this video, and this is probably the last wall I'm folding in this house, uh, was because my wife showed me yesterday, I think, uh, a, a video of someone who attempted to fold their wall, it just looked really bad. And then all the other tutorials that I've seen on YouTube um, were either extremely difficult to get a mediocre result or they just frankly didn't know what they were doing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fold a wall. It really takes minutes, it's not hard at all. Um, the preparation takes the longest. Uh, actually folding a thing moves really fast. So what you're gonna need uh, is a white t-shirt, uh, you don't have to buy those specialty rags. A white t-shirt will do. You're going to want to cut the t-shirt up. Let me, um, actually don't have them around here. I already prepared one, but basically I want to show you guys. You see like the collar and you might see some hair. I just had a haircut, but, um, and the sleeves, all those ridges. You want to cut those things out and then just cut the shirt in half. You want two halves um, just in case your job requires a, an additional rag, which this probably will. Um, you know, I always use a, a plastic bag to just lay on the floor, so I put all my paint and stuff there. A tray, I have a heavy duty tray, so it didn't actually need the silver liner. Paint roller, I always use top of the line. Uh, paint rollers, just because I don't want, I want the best job I'm doing it myself, so you know. I don't have to spare any expense. And you're going to also need the paint. Now, I'm not going to show what faux glaze I use because uh, this is actually a year old and I don't, they don't sell it anymore. I got it from Home Depot. Uh, but uh, you can just get any faux glaze or you can even use other products if you're an advanced painter. You know what I mean to kind of um, thin the paint out. And, uh, and that's all glaze is really used for. Just to thin the paint out so you can work with it longer. It won't dry as fast and um, a good glaze um, often leaves a, a slight sheen. So uh, that's that. So with all that said, I'm gonna just get into it. The sound is gonna change so I can listen to my tunes while I do it and uh, yeah, that's it.
All right, so I still have a lot of paint on the floor here, but I just want to go over a few things. As you guys can see, that didn't take very long at all, and that's the finished product. You do see a little glare right there, but that's just because it's still wet and um, it's drying. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it didn't take that long to do. It came out great. Um, I could have been a little more anal with the edges, but uh, don't. The first few times I did this, I used a paintbrush and I went down, but it causes really terrible tapering, taping effect, so, um, or framing effect rather. So it's easy to just tape off like you should and get as close as you can with the roller. And um, now, what you can do for larger gaps, which I had in the corners, is just take the rag that you saw me using, my hands are clean, so I'm not picking that thing back up, and just dip it in the paint and just touch those corners. That's it. So that's basically what I wanted to go over real quick. And uh, yeah, there you guys go, finished product. So hopefully that was helpful and you guys go fill you some walls.